The Mobile Fires platform is one of the British Army's key projects as it looks to modernize following the publication of the Defence Command paper, and the government has earmarked £800 million to be spent on the program over the next decade. The United Kingdom ground forces are comprehensively outgunned and outranged, leaving enemy artillery free to prosecute fire missions with impunity. If conventional deterrence is to remain a key component of the United Kingdom national security strategy, then the modernization of its fires capability should be a top priority. The United Kingdom has yet to decide whether the future mobile fires platform will be a wheeled or tracked system and in a recent press briefing, the British Army Head of Strategy Brigadier John Clark said, that options for the program include upgrading the AS-90 fleet to meet modern threats. The United Kingdom is currently working towards approval of an outline for its mobile fires platform program in the first quarter of 2022. The plans call for initial operating capability of 18 systems in early 2029, and full operating capability of 116 systems worth £800 million by 2032. As the results of the United States Army trials are likely to be a significant consideration in the British selection. The United Kingdom will observe the United States Army mobile howitzer trials and shoot off to develop our market understanding as part of the mobile fires platform procurement process. Participating in the United States trials are Elbit's Atmos 2000, BAE Systems Archer, Nexter's Caesar and Hugo Imports Nora. The trials are set to include a complete analysis of platforms and ordnance. The United Kingdom is currently working towards approval of an outline business case for the program in the first quarter of 2022, with an eye towards a full operating capability of 116 guns in 2032. Initial operating capability for Mobile Fires platform is aimed at 18 guns in early 2029. The Ministry of Defence has already reviewed and analysed responses to a request for information from industry and has conducted an analysis of potential investment options. Over the next quarter, the Ministry of Defence plans to develop the programme's procurement strategy and plan the project's future assessment phase. The United Kingdom currently operated the AS-90 self-propelled howitzer, which was first introduced into service in the early 1990s. Initially, the British Army operated 179 systems, however by 2017, this had been reduced to 110, reflecting a lack of significant upgrades to the United Kingdom as 90s. The system is currently scheduled to be retired in 2030. The AS-90 is a 155mm self-propelled gun that equips three field regiments of the Royal Horse Artillery and Royal Artillery. The AS-90 is fitted with a 155mm caliber gun barrel. In trials, two AS-90 guns were able to deliver a total payload of 261kg onto a single target in less than 10 seconds.
An automated loading system enables the gun to fire with a burst rate of 3 rounds in fewer than 10 seconds, an intense rate of 6 rounds a minute for 3 minutes and a sustained rate of 2 rounds a minute. The gun is equipped with a recoil and hydrogas suspension system, which allows the turret to traverse and fire through a full 360 degrees. The AS-90 has been upgraded with the BAE Systems Laser Inertial Artillery Pointing System Digital Gun Sight. This gives the shooter the precise position of the weapon and bearings as well as the height of the barrel. These include the FIN-3110 ring laser gyro-based, strapped-down inertial navigation unit with an embedded military global positioning system. The program to replace the British Army's IS-90 self-propelled artillery has suffered delay, with the forthcoming howitzer not expected to reach initial operational capability until the first quarter of 2029. The decision to suspend the mobile fire program was taken to allow the Ministry of Defense to address key technical risks and meet requirements in the government's integrated foreign, security and defense policy review expected around the end of this year, according to sources with knowledge of the program. Britain's new heavy artillery was originally set to gain initial operational capability in the fourth quarter of 2026, but the Ministry of Defence confirmed that it has now been returned to the first quarter of 2029. The delays in procuring the howitzers mean the current decommissioning date for the AS-90 has also been pushed back by two years. A portion of the current howitzer power will remain operational until 2032. The revised schedule for the new procurement process is currently being developed by the Ministry of Defence.